Good evening, I'm Jeanette. I'm Pat. We're whispering because we're outside a bat roost. It's a little bit like going on an expedition. I've got my mats, we've got a camera and the bat detector. Don't forget us too. Oh, and us. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. So this thing behind us is a cage. Can you see that? And it's there to protect an access point for bats, which is quite low to the ground. Okay, so this is where we are this evening. Here we go, just panning around so you can see the building. There's some solar panels on top and there's the roof of the cage. And what we're looking at here basically is trying to get some film of some bats coming out from the access point, which is in the wall of the building, through the cage. And we want to see which way the bats go. We've got some infrared filming gear. We're going to see what happens, how long it takes the bats to come out and how they negotiate this new feature. Do you ever have one of those evenings? Do you ever have one of those evenings <laughs> where things don't quite go to plan? We're having one right now. The original setup that we planned won't work because there's a steep slope covered in very, very loose soil and rock. So we couldn't stabilize a tripod. What we've had to do instead is take up an alternative position, which wasn't our first choice, but hopefully is gonna work out okay for us. It's been quite an ordeal. Anyway, we finally got set up here. We've got some cushion mats, which is really useful because we're on a very damp sort of <laughs> seating position. Got our buffs to keep the midges away. Blimey, we're getting bitten to death already, folks, and it's only very early May. Anyway, on with the show, as they say. had an unexpected visitor whilst waiting for the bats to come out. There's a little blue tip up at the gable end of the building. Just gone in. Think it's nesting there. We're going to keep an eye on that as well. Just heard the first bat. Time to concentrate and put the camera on. <laughs> 